Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just feel stuck. Yes. You need some energy and motivation to pull yourself back. Yeah. That's exactly how I, how I was a year ago. And I found a way back and to keep myself on the track. And I thought it might be helpful for you as well, since many people also have been there. So about a year ago, I felt so exhausted after a non-stop working. But there's no progress I'm making professionally and personally. And I just don't have any desire to do something more. So, desperate to find some solutions in this situation, I decided to visit my friend in New York, Rosemary. Very thin and tiny Asian girl, but Rosemary grew up around the world as a diplomat kid, and she had such a big skin to survive various environment, but also have a great youth embracing the perspectives around the world. Rosie, but that's how I call Rosemary. I feel so lost. Oh, Sophia, yeah, I have noticed what's going on. Oh, Rosie, I don't know. I just felt have been feeling down this much. Sophia, how long? This doesn't sound good. Maybe a few months, Rosie. Oh, Sophia, that's not good. Have you thought about doing something else, you know, working in startups? It sounds like your job is so daunting and it doesn't, go, doesn't do anything good for you. And the conversation went on and on, but there's no solution. <coughs> so on the way back home on the plane, I was just listening to some videos and interviews, and one of them was interview with a few fairies. And probably some of you might know that Tim Ferriss is my favorite entrepreneur. And he is a well-known author. One of his books is For Our Work Week. And coincidentally, he was talking about the importance of having small successes in life just to keep moving forward, especially during adversity <coughs> when you feel so stuck. And he shared some t- tactics you never would expect. The tactic he was sharing during his interview was lower your expectation. You might think, what? Lower your expectation? What does that mean? I don't get it. But to achieve something great, don't you have to have a great expectation for yourself? That's exactly how I felt. But then he fairies went on. A lot of people have a tendency have a high expectation for themselves. So they try and try a couple times, but when they don't get there, they end up beating themselves up and feeling stuck. So having, if you want to be a great author, writer, you want to write a great book, don't wait until you're ready to write a perfect book. But start right now, writing one pages every day in the next 30 days. Nobody, even the most talented writer, cannot write a perfect book in the first, second, or third try. But having a right habit to write every day to shape your writing skill, that is more important. So once you feel comfortable and you feel that you your chief, 30 day assignment, writing every day one pages, then you can hire, you can put higher bar, writing two or three or five pages every day. But in that process, what is more important? Once you achieve those little steps, you gain confidence, confidence from the promises that you keep yourself, keep to yourself. So. As a good student of Team Ferris, okay, Team, I'm going to experiment with your theory, and I'm going to start with a small thing. I don't feel like I've been a good, I, I didn't have a good, healthy habit. So I'm going to start working out. 
in the next 30 days, I'm gonna work out every day. That was my goal. And I started, first week went okay, the second week, of course it was tough. There's a Toastmaster, there's just all kinds of stuff happening in the evening, in the afternoon, so I had to like readjust my time, but I made it. And after 30 days, after I finished 30 day assignment, I felt so great about myself. I felt like I achieved something great. And they gave me motivation and energy to think about the next step. So, do you want to achieve something good? And you want to have motivation and desire to put yourself. Then the answer is lower your expectation. Find something small something that you can achieve, but that also requires your effort, your commitment, your consistency, and stick with it. Once you do that, the accumulation of your small successes will give you more confidence to do something greater.